So moving on, uh, on with the rest of the tabs, we can find on the top right corner here the outliner uh, menu or uh, the outliner tab, uh, which I find like very helpful and uh, very important. Here you can like access uh, your objects in the scene, the different type of objects, lights, cameras, uh, meshes, splines, materials, also rigs. Uh, bones, uh, whatever uh, is existing or contributing to the final result in your scene, you can have those listed here on the side. And uh, these are uh, regroupable. You can regroup these or create those uh, new collections by adding those from the new collection uh, button here. You can create new ones, you can double click to rename those and you can like drag and drop these within new sections. You can also click M on the keyboard which is the shortcut for the move to collection menu. Here you can have more options, you can create new collections from here. You can create scene, col add those to existing collections at whatever objects are you selecting to any existing collections that you have created in the scene so that's why naming is important here to uh, rearrange and uh, organize your projects properly you can also like dub right click you can like uh, rank these by colors if you want to you can have more options here duplicate collections or you can select hierarchy uh, you can uh, go to view area you can explore this as you want to but you have many options here that are very helpful also there is uh, as you can see on the top there is this scene uh, drop menu in here you can create new scenes with different or similar uh, collection and layouts you can also create new view uh, layers this will help you like differentiate like uh, render uh, settings uh, and render those at the same time if you want to so this will uh, facilitate your render process and scene layout uh, process later also you can find here a search uh, section uh, that you can type in whatever uh, the, the name of the objects or, or uh, the lights or whatever you are searching for to get easier access here on the side you can also find this drop menu this restriction toggles are very helpful you can have uh, holdouts and uh, selectable uh, objects here you can restrict the selection of uh, collections or even individual objects by adding this and clicking so here now I have already restricted the whole collection here I cannot like select anything that is in this collection as you can see the light here is in different collection so I can I can click that and select it okay so uh, we get back to this we get the light back to the uh, original collection and uh, right click and delete this uh, collection here okay so you can uh, access those and uh, as I said you can uh, search whatever information about this and already documented uh, details on the Blender Foundation website. Moving on to the bottom uh, right corner uh, tab which is the properties tab. This is very important as it contains all the properties of every uh, details or functions uh, in the scene. So this is the tool this is the uh, scene uh, options you can find here uh, or select here the render engines that you want to work with uh, you can have uh, details about the color management the uh, shadows information the performance the volumetrics we're gonna explore this later uh, throughout this tutorials you can go then to the output if you hold like your mouse over these uh, icons it gives you information about the names and the functions of each property here each panel here so you have uh, view passes view layers you have the scene setup 
you have the word setup you have the object information on object data you have the constraints the physics here you have the constraints you have the camera details the camera here is appearing because we are already selecting the camera and the scene so if we go and select different object you will have different menus here so we have l this uh, shader menu appearing this vertex group appearing it's because this object is mesh and uh, consists of different uh, of multiple vertex so here you can have different options as I said basic on the selection if you go to the light in the scene you will have different menus so uh, keep that in mind uh, if you are missing some menus then you have the the wrong selected objects in your scene and uh, finally uh, on the bottom uh, of the screen you can find this timeline tab this is basically the the time of your scene you can manipulate this by either uh, either like selecting li by left click on this uh, blue uh, line and drag it across the scene or you can like uh, click play here and this will move you forward also you can click and go back backward you can move to different uh, different keys if you have already created animations and uh, you have uh, keys uh, here you can insert keys by clicking I on the keyboard and you have uh, different options for inserting keys you can insert keys basically on anything in uh, the blender software any uh, custom value that can be manipulated or uh, modified it can be uh, uh, saved as a key or you can insert key uh, to specific values here so let's say uh, I select this click uh, insert keyframe and this click like scale maybe and move forward here and uh, click let's say uh, S for scale we will discuss this later but let's say S for scale and move this and click I also this will insert a new uh, keyframe uh, for the scale and by scrubbing or like moving back and forth you can like see that it's already animated uh, the states of the object from small uh, or default scale to the new scale that we have already set you can select those by clicking and dragging and uh, click delete on the keyboard or right click here and accessing the uh, keyframe menu you can like as I said delete keys if you want to or duplicate or do whatever you want so this is is uh, strictly for the animation and uh, the timeline of the scene you can set new timeline here you can add like uh, frames to the scene you can scroll on your uh, mouse wheel to either like uh, enlarge or decrease the size of these uh, frames you can also like uh, choose another uh, starting point or end point as I show you and you can uh, select specific keyframes to move the cursor to it by just typing the numbers here so let's say I'm, I want to go to 50 or even more specific ones like let's say 93 it can be difficult if you have too many keys here to go to exact specific location and keep like this all the frames visible within the tab you can also like scroll up to zoom in and go to different uh, keyframes or frames so this is basically the basic layout the basic user interface we have uh, the introduction finished here and we're gonna move to uh, more details in the next chapter so please stay tuned to the next 
uh, video. Thank you.